Featuring Professor Ken and Rick in the Lion's Den. Keeping squares out of your circle. Well, man, that's very important, man. You got to keep squares out of your circle, man. The reason why is because if you mess with somebody and say you're making a move, and the move is way above that person's head, that square, they might come in and do some square shit and mess up the entire move. You know, like, for example, you know, like, say, for instance, if y'all was running a scam or something like that, and the square didn't know what the scam was, and you woke the pick up, it would mess the entire hustle up, you know? Or, you know, if you're dealing with a square bra, you know, and you're trying to get some money or something like that, and you're trying to put up on some money, and you're trying to earn it, look, that mark got some money for that mark, you know, he's a trick or whatever. And she's a square, you know what I'm saying? She ain't gonna understand that you need to keep her out your circle. You need to deal with people that's on people footy, you know, people that know how to play. You know, like Sarah Vincent, you know, like, I remember my daddy, you know, he used to be a pool shark. So he used to hustle with these guys. They all would be playing pool, what my daddy would do. And they would play and they would beat each other and lose to each other. And that would attract a trick, you know what I'm saying? But if, if somebody, you know, was square and they didn't know what was going on, then they'd probably wake the mark up and mess up the whole entire hustle, you know? So yeah, you definitely gotta keep squares out your circle. But then, you know, squares don't think like people that's accomplished in the streets, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you, know, you might, you know, have a lot of game. Like, for example, me and you, you went to a strip club with a square, and the square don't know the protocols of the game. The square, when he gonna do, he gonna immediately go in his pocket and start tipping, right. you know? And then, you know, if you a player, you a street dude, about yourself, it's gonna make you look like a square too. And then, you know, the bra was gonna be like, yeah, man, Ken, and uh, so-and-so was in there, you know, and they was throwing money. And you were like, I wasn't throwing no money. All right. But, you know, the square was, so the square make you look like you a square too. Right. You know, so you gotta keep a square at your circle for a lot of reasons, man. You know, that's even like the CIA. You know, we don't call them players, but they say players on other level. They don't let certain low-level members in their circle. They don't let them up on top secret. They call it classified information. You know, some things in the game is classified and everybody can't be privy to it. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of times, you know, they keep those people in the dark. And in the game, in the streets, we got to keep certain people in the dark. Because if we don't, you know what I'm saying? They're going to throw an alarm clock in the graveyard. They're going to wake up all of the day. You know what I mean? And, you know, real players, you know, they don't make a lot of noise. They tiptoe past the medicine cabinet because they don't want to wake up to sleep the pills. They don't want to wake up to sleep the pills. Four, Four seven. seven.